indeed, what is happening now on the border between Belarus and Poland and Lithuania and Latvia uh, are part of a broader destabilizing effort of, uh, of the Russian Federation. Basically speaking, President Putin has a number of cards in his hands destabilizing and distracting the attention of the European Union by putting pressure on uh, uh, their borders from Belarus, uh, putting pressure on Ukraine uh, by uh, mobilizing, by building up military force along our border and by trying to destabilize the situation in Ukraine from the inside. The gas story should also be taken into account. So uh, we don't know which card will become royal in the end. Uh, our goal, our common goal, should be, of course, to not to allow, to, to build such a system, such a diplomatic system that would not allow President Putin and his uh, close ally, Alexander Lukashenko, to uh, play any cards against us. And when it comes to the situation with migrants, Ukraine, Poland and Lithuania remain in a very close contact uh, on this matter and we coordinate, we share information, we coordinate efforts and the format of the Lublin Triangle that was uh, set up uh, almost two years ago, which includes Ukraine, Lithuania and Poland, proves to be very valuable to address such threats uh, and uh, as uh, the one uh, we are talking about. When it comes to Alexander Lukashenko, we hear a growingly um, hostile uh, rhetorics from him. Um, it's unimaginable to some extent. Ukraine and Belarus have enjoyed excellent relations in the past. Uh, we never considered our northern flank as a source of threat. Unfortunately, now we have to take this, this threat into account and take it extremely seriously. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone who took part in this, uh, in this briefing. Thank you for your questions. Um, once again, all we are trying to do now is to prevent worst case scenarios from happening. And uh, to achieve that, we need words, but we also need deeds. And I would like to thank you for spreading the word across the world and of supporting uh, us in our call on partners to act jointly with us. Thank you very much. Have a good week. Next is for Turkish agency Anadolu. Talha, please. You have the mic. It is true that Ukraine and uh, Turkey enjoy excellent relations and there is a high level of trust between President Erdogan and President Zelensky. Ukraine remains committed to the work of the Normandy format. However, we never objected to any proposal or initiative to, uh, of good offices offered by other partners and friends and uh, we, will, we will welcome uh, any effort that can help us to put an end to this war, to uh, return Ukraine's territories, which are currently under Russian control. We are ready to work and to, with such partners uh, and to coordinate efforts. Uh, the only rule that we have in Ukraine is the following. There should be no, there must be no agreements on Ukraine taken or made without Ukraine. This is the red line. Everything else is welcome. We are ready to talk and to discuss any initiatives aimed at, as I said, uh, putting an end to this conflict.